What's going on YouTube, GSNow right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you who are on a 64-bit device running any version of the iOS 10. That being iOS 10.1.1, .1, iOS 10.2, 10.2.1, 10.3.3 10 and so on. And as I said, on a 64-bit device. A new jailbreak called Double Helix is now available. It has been released just a couple of minutes ago by Teamstar and Saigusa. And it's pretty much the 64-bit version of the Helix jailbreak for the 32-bit devices that has been released just a couple months ago. Now this one, the double Helix, is pretty much compatible with, as I said, all 64-bit devices but the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. These two devices are not supported and pretty much any other device that has the KTRR instead of KPP is not supported. Anyways, if you want to download it, it's available at double helix with um, E spelled as a 3 dot teamstar dot net and you can download it and um, you will need CD Impactor in order to sideload it. Now, more information about this jailbreak. This is not untethered. It's semi-untethered. This means that you will have to re-sign the IPA every seven days. Um, as you probably got used to from Yalu. And yes, you can replace Yalu with this one in here. And uh, since this one doesn't use hard-coded offsets, it uses a uh, patch finder, it should be compatible with pretty much the entire iOS 10 range. Now, as I said, you can replace Yalu with this one if you really want to. You can replace the uh, Saigon jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1 if you really want to. And of course, you can replace Goblin. And yes, you can jailbreak break with this one if you have used Goblin. This is pretty much a Goblin alternative, a Goblin jailbreak alternative, but this one doesn't have the weird problems Goblin has. For example, I don't know, on Goblin the Touch ID apparently doesn't work and many other problems that are not present in the Helix. So you can get it and pretty much have a full stable working jailbreak with Cydia on iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2 and any other iOS 10.x 64-bit device that is not the iPhone 7 or the 7 Plus. For those of you interested in what's uh, under the hood, you can find it in here, the source code for this jailbreak, Double Helix, on Teamstar's GitHub and um, you can download it and take a look and of course understand what's going on if you really want to, to take a look at the code. So yeah, it's open source and it is in here a jailbreak for iOS 10.x 64-bit devices without KTRR, which is pretty much the iPhone 7, 7 Plus and whatever. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You have now a jailbreak for the 64-bit uh, devices, iOS 10.x, that has Cydium and it's very, very stable. So if you want to replace Goblin with it, you can, even though you used Goblin, it's not going to interfere with it. And um, if you want to replace, again, the Saigon, you can. If you want to replace the Yalu, you can. It's pretty much the entire iOS 10.x range. So yep, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. If you have any questions about the double helix goblin or any other jailbreak that this one can substitute, you can tell me in the comment section down below and I will try to reply. So again, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.